Good day, viewers. You're welcome to Midday Prayers Program on ACNN Television. Today is a unique day, the day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless your name. We give you praise because you're wonderful. Father, it is yes another time in your presence. No man has been in your presence remain the same. May you turn us around. May your word bring impact in our life. May your word change our thinking. Let your word direct us. Let your word show us the way. Speak to us even today that your name alone be glorified. Have your way, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our topic says, the Lord requires us to love him. The Lord requires us, you and I, to love him. And our text is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 to 9. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 to 9. And it says, Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to this command that I am giving you today. He said, repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home, when you are on the road. This is a command, a decree, a regulation that the God Almighty is giving to you and I to tell you how important it is. He said, we must, it's, it's, not, it's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. It's a must. We must love the Lord our God. We must love the Lord our God. You and I must love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, with all of our strength, and with all of our soul. If you look at Mark chapter 12, Mark chapter 12, Verse 29 to 30. And I read, Jesus replied, the most important commandment is this. The most important commandment. That means there are other, but this one is the most important. Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only God. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength. It's talking about loving God. It's not just loving him. Loving him with all your being. Loving him with everything that you have. Loving him with, with your exist as you exist. You must love him. Love him with your totality. That's what he's talking about. And the word love is a strong positive emotion of regard. It is a jury gratitude and reference to God, to adore him, to look up to him. To love God means to have intimate relationship with him. Just as husband and wife, you can imagine the love that flows between them. It means to know him fully well. You so much know him fully well that you understand what he likes. You understand what you don't like. Someone that you love, you won't like to offend the person. When I say loving him with all your might, with all your strength, you are loving him with your totality that you think like him. You talk like him. What he, he will not say, you will not say. What he will reject, he reject because you are exactly like him. The Bible says that God himself is love. You want to describe love? You, you now look at God. And today, he's require you and I to love him. To love him with our being, love him with our strength, love him with our soul, and love him with our mind. And as we love him, he will show himself mightily. In your life, 
in your home, wherever you find yourself, because he's God himself, in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 97 verse 10 says, you who love the Lord, hate evil. When you say you love him, hate evil, because you don't like evil. You can't see evil in him. So hate it. If you are telling me you love him, I want to see the love of God in you by the way you act, by the way you dress, by the way you interact with people. Then I can tell you you love God. You, it's not something you say. Love is not a spoken word. It's an action word. We want to see it in you. You want to see it in me. As I say I love God, it is shown in my character. I cannot be professing, saying that I love God, and my character is opposite of who my God is, then I don't love him. If I boast of my love of him, then my character will smell of him. My character will dictate that this one is God-like. Why? Because I'm doing exactly what he wants me to do. We are talking about love. That God requires us to love him. And if we love him with everything we have, you will see God in action loving you. Remember, he first loves us. When you and I don't even know him, when you and I, we are in a wrong path. When we are in a dark path, we are confused. We don't know what to do. We, we are not even know who we are. He loved you and I. And he died for us. See, when you say you love, you want to see it in your giving. The Bible says that because Lord God loved the world, that he gave his begotten son. If you're telling me you love God and you're not a giver, then you don't love God. Because love will, will push you to give. Give sacrificially. Give something that you know someone will bless as you're giving it to that person. To love God means to have no order. You have no spare. You have no alternative. It is only him and only him alone. In fact, the Bible talks about him as a jealous God. He don't want you to share him with any other. When we are talking about loving God, it means he is our number one. He is our number one. He is your heart. If it's in my child, say, oh, Bim, he is your number one. He's your all in all. You don't have any order to compare. You don't have any spare so that, that you can run to in time of need. He is the only one. And when you take him as the only one, he will appear and prove to you that he is God Almighty. Obata Obie, the God that never fails. The one that comes in a battle and proves himself mighty. The one that anytime you are with him, he can never miss road. No matter how the road is divided, he's the one that created the road. He knows where to take you to. And each time he's leading you, he never makes mistake. That is the God we are talking about. Praise the Lord. It is the love of God you have that Prompt you, push you to obey him totally, not half. It is the love of God you have that makes you to walk with him. Not walking for him. You are walking with him. Walking with him, line by line. You know, many a times, we, some of us, we walk for him. But we don't walk with him. Until you learn to walk with him. Hmm. Walking with him, my knee needs some pruning. He might need some nurturing. He might need some things he will pull from you because this is not him. When you walk with him, because he's God of love, there are some character in you that he will want to pull them away just like a porter. He will pull them away and you'll be feeling it. Maybe you're someone that's feeling, you're always feel, you, you're easily angered. By the time God begins to deal with you, you might not like it, but at the end, you will see yourself being a resemblance of your father. Praise the Lord. Have you surrendered everything to him? If you are not surrendered yet, you have not loved him. Because love is of totality. Someone you love, you are open to the person. 
You don't hide any secret. You don't keep something so that person will not know. You open up. This day, God is calling us in a love relationship. You and I. He said, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride with him. No man has gone, go, go out with Jesus and come back the same. Nobody has gone out with him. Can I tell you? Someone like Zacchaeus went out with Jesus. After a ride with Jesus, because of the love relationship, Zacchaeus, a task collector, he's a borrow. The people that know how to abuse, take people's money by force, instantly change. How about the woman, the Samaritan woman? Nobody, no matter how your life has been, no matter how dejected, no matter how failure, no matter how, how dark, how dark it looked like. If you can follow me today, let us ride in the cruise in his, let us ride with him. Let us ride with him. And when you and I ride with him, you will not know yourself again because those character of yours that is making you to look dirty, making you not to be who the Lord created you to be, you will look for them, you will see them no more. Why? The love of your life, Jesus Christ has gone Pull them away. He has come. Watch them. Purify you. Giving you patience. Giving you endurance. Maybe you're the one that knows how to you talk too much. He's giving you calmness. When people are talking, ah, uh -uh. it's not you. You become calm because God has dealing with you as two of you go on this journey. Praise the Lord. It's a journey that you don't want to offend him. Yes, you don't want to offend him. Someone you love, you cannot offend. Rather, that thing that made the person to get offended, you would make sure you will not do it. See someone that can lie, talk anyhow, do anything anyhow, the person has not have a relationship, a love relationship with Jesus. He's a lover. He knows how to handle you. He knows how to handle me. He's the one that created us. He know our character. He know everything about us. Just like a potter. He can mold you. If you look like maybe as he want to mold you in a, in a shape of a cup. And there is something that is not giving him what he wants. He will smash you and mold you again. That is the God we are talking about. That is the God that loves us so much. Even while we are a sinner, he loves us. He cares for you and I. Brothers and sisters, my beloved. Can you come up further? Let us go on this ride. Ride with Jesus. Ride with the maker. Ride with the one. In this cruise we are about to take off. Listen. The car you are about to enter, there cannot be any hold up. If Jesus is, is on this journey with you, ha, ah, my brother and my sister, it doesn't matter. We are Anything happened in the vehicle. He's the one that created the vehicle. He had the papers of all the vehicle. He can do and undo. And he knows the best road to follow. If there's anything, any hindrance, any hold up, and he own AC. If it's a long journey, you don't need, you don't need to buy things outside. You don't need to call people that hope to buy. Because inside the car, there is a lot of food. Physical and spiritual, he will feed you with. Why are we struggling? Why are we going in a wrong way where there is no hope? Can you and I come to this one who owns the key of our life? Who is the owner of our life? Can we come and join him in this ride? Ride of this relationship and tell you our life will not remain the same. It doesn't matter if you have been in the church for years and yet you have not had a relationship with him. Jesus is calling you back. Calling you. He needs you. He needs me. He don't want us to walk away. He don't want us to go astray. Can you come? Wherever you are, can you come? So that we can go on this ride. And as we go on this ride, you will know the truth that this God loves you. When we talk about this love, he say we should, we, that he wants you, require us to love him. Then you and I won't have any other God. Any other God. A lot of things are taking the place of God in our hearts. Our spouse our children, friends, colleagues, click. They have taken the place of God in our life. Do you know the worst part of it? 
Another one that has gone viral is phone. Phone has taken the place of God in our life. And we don't have time again for him. In fact, if I may ask this morning, some of us, as we woke up from our bed, the first thing we touch, the first person we communicate with is our phone. And the last person we communicate with is our phone. What happened to the love of your life? I remember that time when you want to get married, your husband, my husband, he will call. In fact, I woke up, he will call me. The last person to call me is the one from, as he's discussing, I will sleep off. What happened now? Where is that your first love? God is calling on you. He's calling on me, all of us, to come nearer. To come nearer. Don't allow anything to be a hindrance. Don't allow anything to be God. Don't take anything. Don't allow it to be, to take his place. He's a jealous God. What is taking your place? I remember one time in my church that Nigeria had, had their uh, march. And it's on Sunday. Do you know when we came to church? We didn't see no man was in the church, just a few brothers. What happened? They were at home watching football. They were watching football. What has taken the place of God in your life? God is saying this day, drop it. Come back to him. He's our number one, our first love. And he still remains our first love. Nothing can take his place from us. He is the God of all. That is why he called me and said, I am that I am. Praise the Lord. Can we bow our head to pray? Wherever you are, wherever you are, begin to appreciate God for the word you hear. That God is talking about love. Begin to appreciate him. Appreciate him. I want more of you, Jesus. I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you, more of you, more of you, more of you, Jesus, more, more of you, more of you, more of you. More of you, Jesus, more of you. I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. Can you invite him? Tell him more of him. More of him in, our, in my life. More of God in your life. More of him. When, you, when I have more of God in my life, more of him. Hi. You have, see how my life will be. The beauty of my life cannot be equated with anything. Can you ask him, say, Father, I want more of you. More of you in my life. More of you in my home. Quarrel every, every now and then. More. More of Jesus. Father, we need more of you. More of you in our life. In the life of our children. In our working place. In our offices. In our business. More of you, Father. I beg of you today. Father, more of you. We want to see more of you in our life. More of you in our home. More of you, oh God. In our academics. More of you in this nation. When there is more of Jesus. Ah. Things won't be the way they are. There won't be no, no killing. No banditry. Peace will reign. Father, we beg of you more. More of you. More of you. Declare more of him in your life. More. Father, more. Ah, Father, we need you more than ever. We need you, oh God. 
more of you, more of you. We have done it by our strength. We have done it by our wisdom. Our wisdom have failed us. Our strength have failed me. Our strength have failed us. Father, that is why we are saying this day, more of you. Father, more of you in my life. More of you in my home. More of you in Nigeria. More of you in the church. Let the Holy Ghost move. More of you in the church. When more of God, when there is more of God, more of God. You see, you see communion. You see love. You see unity flowing. More of you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we ask of more of you, Lord. More of you, more of you, more of you. More of you in the name of Jesus. We are talking about love relationship. Father, we pray for an intimacy. More of you. An intimacy with you. More of you, more of you. That I may know you and I will desire to know you more. Not just knowing you and stopping there, but desiring to know you more. Not knowing you yesterday. The, no, I, the one I know you yesterday cannot carry me today. More of you. Today I need more of you. I need to know you the more. I need to know you the more. In my life, in everything I do, I want to know you the more. Father, in the name of Jesus, don't allow us to remain. The one we know you yesterday will carry you for today. No, 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 no. We are saying it's an everyday affair. It's a love relationship. More of you, Father, in the name of Jesus. No, more of you in the name of Jesus. More of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray and ask God, nothing will take your place in my life. You are my, you are my number one, my first love. Nothing will take you, nothing will take, nothing will take your place in my life. Nothing will take your place in my family. Nothing will take your place in the church. Nothing will take your place in Nigeria. Nothing will take your place, oh God, in the life of our children, in the life of that young girl, in the life of that young boy. Nothing will take your place. When you take your place in our heart, our life will be correct. Our home will be correct. Nigeria will be correct. Even the church will be correct. More of you, Father. Father, nothing will take your place. Nothing will take your place. What is that thing? Is it finances? Is it wealth? Is it fame? Lee Kama Shadada. They will not take your place. They will not take your place in our life. They will not take your place in the church. He can dalabos. Even politics have entered the church. Father, none of this thing will take your place. They will not take your place in the church. They will not take your place in our life. Father, it's you that is our number one. You are number one. We put you first. We put you first in our life. Ah, Malika Nama Shananos. In Kalabasi Kedede. Malika. Father, we put you first, oh God. You are our number one. You are our first love. Nothing else matters. It's you that matter. In the name of Jesus. I put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matter. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all the matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all the matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all the matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all the matters, Father. So shall it be that you matters of God. You are number one. You matters of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we enthrone you over our nation. We enthrone you over our home. We enthrone you over our being, over our children, over our husband, over our life, over our business, over the work of our hands. Father, may you matter, O oh God, in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much, viewers. And please don't forget to join us once again, the same time, the same station. And God bless you. Collect for the week. Collect for Trinity time. Almighty Father, whose Son Jesus Christ has taught us that whatever we do for the least of our brethren, 
we do also for him give us the will to be the servant of others as he was the servant of all who gave up his life and died for us but is alive and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen